Saturn, second largest planet in the solar system, but also probably one of the more beautiful ones. With bright rings around the planet, it stands out in the solar system. Although these rings are bright and big, they are composed of many rock and ice particles that range from a sand grain to a mountain-sized rock. But usually the rings are only from 10 meters to 1 kilometer in thickness. But considering the size of Saturn, that's actually extremely thin. So the diameter of Saturn is 116,000 kilometers or around 10 times that of Earth. But still, you can fit 764 Earths inside Saturn. It is rightfully called a gas giant. So an interesting question pops up. What if Earth became the moon of Saturn? So let's say Earth somehow started drifting towards Saturn. So that would mean that Earth would go further away from the Sun and at around 200 million kilometers, similar to the orbit of Mars, Earth will reach an unbearable cold, approximately minus 50 Celsius on average, which would cause all of the oceans to freeze and that would present an unimaginable amount of problems. So, by the time Earth reaches Saturn, every land organism will be dead. Only a few organisms and bacteria will be able to survive, and will likely die a bit after. Other than that, it will be a frozen land. But also radiation of Saturn would cause some serious problems. Even if the temperature was good and Saturn came to Earth, every human on Earth would die from radiation poisoning in a few hours although likely insects would continue to thrive normally, as a lot of insects can survive radiation levels many times deadlier than humans would. But that is if temperature was good. As said, this is in the orbit of Saturn, so almost every land organism would be dead. But just because the surface of Earth would be a snowy wasteland, it wouldn't be the same for underwater oceans. Because deep sea creatures and many bacteria and other species that do not require sunlight would continue as if nothing happened, they barely would notice. These organisms mostly would be extremophiles, which can survive in usually extreme conditions. Under the surface, because only the crust of the ocean would be frozen, temperature would be okay, and it would be protected from radiation. It would mean that life would continue on Earth, but only underwater, in deep spots. Interestingly, because Earth would be all frozen, it would look a lot like Saturn's moon Enceladus, which as well has an underwater ocean. And Earth would reflect a lot of light, making it really bright, but also making the surface temperature likely over minus 200 Celsius. Also, Earth is quite a dense object, so its surface gravity is pretty strong, 9.81 meters per second square compared to Saturn's 10.44 meters per second square surface gravity. So, Earth would also tug the gravitation of Saturn, making Saturn orbit a bit around Earth. Also because of these gravitational battles, Moon would likely be ejected flying into outer space. Now all of these are possibilities. There is also a possibility that Saturn could swallow Earth or form it into a ring system. Although, I'm not so sure about that since Earth has a similar surface gravity to Saturn, so that may not be possible. So if Earth were to become a moon of Saturn, which is just a thought or a scenario and will not even happen, it wouldn't be very pleasant to be a land organism on Earth. In that case, humans likely wouldn't be able to do anything and we would watch a slow destruction of everything we worked on, including us. So overall it's quite an interesting thought and turns out it is a very destructive scenario, but we should keep thinking.